bag. The bag. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Duke Melang, I am Liv Moore, the Planktonic Homo. So, what have you been doing with your life? So, this is kind of an open letter to 25 year old me. So, hi, 25 year old me. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> So a quick recap as of today which is the 14th of August 2020 you have been 20 years for a month and 11 days you are in your second year of nursing and just two years short of attaining your bachelor of social sciences in nursing um, school wise school wise you are stressed out a lot of the time and you're scared a lot of the time and I understand it's because of the two modules that you have to redo from last year um, studying is an issue there are a lot of issues right now I really am so tired <laughs> to overcome your shortcomings you're learning you're in a process of learning to love the work that you do outside of the practical we are still three and a half hours away from home and you hate it here like you hate it here but you are getting into a you're getting into a habit of relearning you used to love this place and you realize that it's not that bad of a place you've been enjoying the residence environment over the past few years you've met some really incredible people and you've nurtured some incredible friendships with those people but of course you've made some mistakes along the way a lot of friends who were lost a lot of relationships that got so complicated and there was really no need i wonder if you remember everything that happened but like yeah but otherwise you've found a supportive group of women who uplift each other every single day with everything they do you found incredible people who know you better than you thought anybody would you what you were in your second year of living in race and you are so scared that they're going to kick you out because of the two modules from last year but you also are hoping that you are going to get the RC sport position uh, sport is something that you're very passionate about and the portfolio is something that you actually really want to do at the moment you are looking for a place just in case it doesn't work out but like fingers fingers are really crossed that it works out but right now you are not there you're not at the of the place that you thought that you would be for the past two years so the reason that you're not at Rosmarine is because of corona um they have they asked the 30 the, what the 30 percent of resident students to come back and you were part of it because essential worker <laughs> and yeah you're currently at Valvecha, which is so scary but you are you are learning to make do with it there's some nice natural lighting that comes through that is something that you don't get in your room at Periwinkle. <laughs> they do screening every day. Corona is very scary times. Um, and like every day, you just keep thinking about mom and dad and everybody back at home. And if they're okay and if everybody's just surviving. It's very scary times. There's a lot of uncertainty. The world might end. Not to be dramatic or anything, but the world might end you are on youtube you currently not really on youtube but you currently have like 66 subscribers which is not where you imagined your youtube career would be four years ago when you started it your weight so when you react to this you would have had your youtube channel for nine years if you're still making content do you understand your process you understand your creative so in your 20th year you made it a goal to to strengthen your relationship with God. It's still a slippery slope, especially uh, with something that happened yesterday. And I'm really curious to see how that changes the way that you try to strengthen your relationship with God. Since the whole Corona thing happened, since COVID-19 happened, and you had to come back to res, you have been in a double room alone. But what has what that has taught you truly is to be alone. And if there's one thing that 20 year old me is advising 25 year old you, is that being alone is dope, try it. <laughs> it's beautiful. Because you still withhold a large part of yourself from people. It is mostly out of fear. Do you truly your personality right now is being afraid, being scared, being frightened about all the possibilities of how life might turn out. 
but you're also optimistic in a way your personality is all over the place it's like you're optimistic and you're hopeful but also you're very scared and i get that i do <laughs> well of course i get that we move we grow we evolve we move i don't know bruh did you ever learn to not be so afraid did your confidence ever improve did you finally realize your true self your true potential and your true dharma in the world do you still love being alone though and i know that i advised you that it was incredible but do you still like it or did you just realize that it's a social anxiety thing did you finally take people's advice of you going to see a therapist did you finally get over the fear or the trauma of seeing a psychologist and finally do it again how is your relationship now with god where did it go from the incident that happened what exciting things have you been finding out about yourself oh my gosh did you do like a complete 180 from who you are right now did you grow your hair out like right now this is your makeup <laughs> you're not wearing any makeup at all this is how you present yourself in most of your youtube videos do you wear makeup now you know what I'm gonna be mad at you for? Please tell me that this is how your smile looks. No gold teeth. Have you worn a weave yet? <laughs> Mom, you so happy. You are currently growing out your hair. Not a fan of it? Not a fan. What did you ever do with your hair? How do you present yourself now in your YouTube videos? Do you even still post content? Do you have followers now? Do you have more subscribers than you did today? Where are all the YouTubers that you've been watching since you first came onto the scene? Where's Ali Hills? Where's Stevie Bobby? Where's Errol? Where's Jade Fox? Where's Dodi? Where's Elena? Where is everybody? Where's Heartbeat? Oh my goodness, there's so many. Where is everybody? How is social media? How is technology? What phone do you use right now? Uh, now you use a Redmi 8A. Did you ever get an iPhone? I feel like you're gonna grow into the types that get iPhones. Sis. Wait, I, I just want you to acknowledge that 20 year old you wrote in, in their notes. Props to you for surviving COVID 19. If you did, <laughs> unless you died, then I hope you had a beautiful funeral. Um, if you're still alive, is everyone else still alive? Is mom still alive? Dad? I feel like that's my biggest fear about the future that people are going to die. That is. Oh. I feel like it's something that I mull over every single day, something that I stress about every single day is that somebody died and uh, yeah, yeah, I hope everybody's okay, I hope everybody's okay, everybody is so grown, your nieces and nephews, your, your brother, your sister, mom and dad, they are so grown right now, you, my goodness, you, dude, you. But truly, how has everybody changed? Like, everybody is so grown right now. How have they changed? Are you still close with everybody? Are you still close with your nieces and nephews? Um, have you been showing mom the nice things in life? Like she deserves. Where's Kam? What has she been doing with her life? Where's everybody? I just need to, I need you to catch me up on what everybody is doing. Who's dating who? I want all the tea. <laughs> how have the years away from home in like the professional setting been treating you if everything went according to plan which i hope it did you are working you're paying off your bursary how is that by the way how is it working at the hospital did you finally learn off your guns are the sisters nice are you nice are you a nice sister how does it feel to be called professional nurse okay instead of just student nurse how do the the bands feel do you feel like the bad bitch you thought that you would when you first came into this industry did you do you feel like it the the maroon epaulets how does it feel are you enjoying it what word are you working in <laughs> did they place you in icu like like you've been warned that they would Oof. tense how is it though do you like being a nurse you regret it if you're not a sister what are you doing 
When was the last time you went back home? Do you have a house? Do you have a car? Did you finally learn how to drive? Did you finally learn how to play the guitar? What other instruments did you learn? Did you finally learn how to cook? Who's been cooking for you? Do you still love McDonald's? How many McDonald's do you still need to get through? Where places have you traveled to? What happened after your second year? Did you move out of res or did you become RC? If you did, how was it being an RC? If you didn't, that's okay. What was life like after you moved out of res? How did your relationships change with the people that you surrounded yourself with for so long? So like health and stuff. Okay, my deltoids aren't showing yet, but they will. Do you have deltoids? Do you still work out? Do you have abs? How deep is your wrist? Do you have a deep force? Do you have a healing piercing? Do you have more piercings now? Did you get the tattoos that you wanted to get? How many? How did mom react? <laughs> How did mom react to anything? Does mom like the person that you are right now? Do you like the person that you are right now? Are you happy? Are you in love? Do you have a kid? I hope not. <sighs> did you get married? I mean, did you finally get over your fear of commitment? What is love like right now? How is your relationship with the person that you're going to marry? Do you even still want to marry them? <laughs> I mean, right now there is this really cute, this really amazing person who really likes you and you really like them back, but you are so afraid. And I don't know of what, but it's just like a general fear of following your heart I think are you still friends with everyone that you were friends with in, in varsity where are your best friends where's BBA are you still in communication with everybody how was everybody's graduation where are you and your peers on your journey to abolishing capitalism <laughs> where's Bosch where's off where are all your high school friends who are your friends now do you even have friends now do you have a pet? Do you have a dog? How many doggos do you have? I hope you have like two doggos. I hope that you are so happy and that your life's decisions manage to work out. Um, I hope that you found clarity. I hope that you didn't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Ever. hope that you got any help that you need and you found a voice and you found confidence or confidence. Please tell me you still remember where that comes from. A lot is going to happen. I hope that you're still clean and you're still taking care of yourself. And from a younger version of yourself, it's all love. I love you. I really do. And yeah, say hi to everybody for me. Say hi to mom. Tell her I say what's up. The next time I'm going to be watching this video, I am going to be 25 years old. And I do, I watch my videos like regularly because I'm proud of the content that I put out. So the next time I watch this, hopefully I react or something. Um, I got this idea from Dodie Clark. Dodie Clark made a video to her 25 year old self when she was 20. This year she reacted to it. It was incredible. Tears were shed. I'm a cancer. Do you think I'm going to cry? Did you cry, babes? It's okay if you did. <laughs> I'm gonna link her videos down below so you can go watch them because so you can go watch them again and just like get a dose of nostalgia. So watch Stevie and Miles and Jade and Arrows along the way. <laughs> so once again, my name is Liv Moore, the Planktonic Como, and whatever you do with your life, just make sure that you live more and you are happy in life. Well, bye. Guys, isn't this so pretty? My mom gave it to me. Okay, I'm done.